People, what is up? Spring is in the air, and it is a totally beautiful day out. And with that, I decided to teach you guys expressions, idioms, and slang that have to do with the season of spring and parks and the great outdoors. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a park that's a stone's throw away from my place. But before we do that, let's run it. Okay, this is one of the local parks that's located all over Istanbul. And I said at the beginning of the video that this park is a stone's throw away from my house. And I also said spring is in the air. When you say spring is in the air, it means the season of spring has started. And the idiomatic expression, a stone's throw away, means very close. This park is a stone's throw away from my house. It means it's very close. Let me tell you guys something about the name of my page, the gift of gab. You see, the gift of gab means to be able to speak English eloquently. And since I'm a native speaker, I can speak English pretty eloquently. Eloquently means very nicely, very wonderfully. Let's go inside the park. Let's learn a ton of idioms, expressions, and slangs about the season of spring, about the great outdoors, and of course, parks. People, let's go. Okay, as you can see, this is a playground. A playground is a place where children and people play. Now, these are swings, okay? Now, swing can be a noun or a verb. Swing is the noun and verb is the action. And I'm going to teach you guys a really cool idiom with the word swing in it. To have mood swings. When someone has mood swings, it means... Their mood is constantly going back and forth. So we learned that. Now, this, you see this here? This is called a walking track. Let's go walk on the walking track. This is a park bench, okay? And a really cool idiom is to cop a squat. I am going to cop a squat on the park bench, which means exactly to sit down. Where do you guys like to cop a squat? For me, a park bench is the perfect place to cop a squat. Okay, one thing I love about spring is that during the months of spring, there's always a brisk wind. Now, brisk means active, energetic, and moving quickly. So the wind is very brisk. It moves quickly. But also, you can walk briskly. Okay, so we said a brisk wind or a brisk walk. You ever see people walking like this? That's a brisk walk. Sometimes it's really good to go for a brisk walk when spring is in the air. Let's go. Okay, this is the picnic area and these are picnic tables. Picnic tables are where people sit, spread out a tablecloth, and have something to eat. Now, picnic table, spread out a tablecloth, means you put the tablecloth on the table and you have something to eat. Now, I'm going to teach you guys a really cool expression, like ants at a picnic. What does that mean? Okay, you go to a picnic and ants come and they disturb the picnic. They're bothering you. When you tell someone you're like ants at a picnic, it means they're really bothering you. Like if I rub this cat, see, the cat doesn't like it. It's like I'm ants at a picnic. I'm bothering the cat. The cat is telling me, can you not be like ants at a picnic, please? So we've learned some idioms, some expressions. Stick with me. Subscribe, comment, like, 
let's go and let's conquer the great outdoors. You know, since we're talking about picnics, I'm going to tell you guys, learning English is no picnic. But don't worry, I got your back. I'm a native speaker, and here at the Gift of Gab with Rez, that's what we do. We make learning English easy. Now, I said learning English is no picnic, which means it's not easy. It's actually difficult. But you can also tell someone, hey, you're no picnic, which means you're not fun to be with. You know, my wife, I wouldn't say that. She's filming right now and she's going to kill me. If I say my wife is no picnic, it means she's not easy to get along with. But then she's going to kill me. So I say, you know, life with my wife is like going on a picnic. It's fantastic. Isn't it beautiful, the great outdoors? Now, how are we using that phrase, the great outdoors? When you're at a huge park or a forest, there's lots of trees, wilderness, stuff like that. You can say the great outdoors. I said, let's conquer the great outdoors before. Now I'm teaching you guys what it means to say the great outdoors. A beautiful big park like this filled with trees, birds, cats, everything. Hope you're enjoying the video. Okay, do you see that picnic area? You would say that is a secluded area. When an area is secluded, it means it's far away from everything and everyone else. That picnic area of the park is secluded from all the other parts of the park. And there's a brisk breeze moving through the air. Do you see these beautiful stray dogs here in the park? Okay, what's the difference between a dog that's here in the park and a dog that's in your house? I know that has nothing to do with picnics or anything we're talking about, but I stumbled upon it, so I want to teach it to you guys. These are stray dogs, which means they are loose, they're out in the streets, but a domesticated cat or dog is one that is your pet and lives in your house. I also said I stumbled upon it. When you stumble upon something, it means you find it by chance. So again, I stumbled upon these beautiful stray dogs, which means by chance, I found these dogs that do not have an owner and live out in the streets. But it's not over. Let's go. Okay, do you see that behind me? Any idea what it's called? Any idea what the name of that is? Anybody? Somebody? A gazebo. Look at that beautiful gazebo with the picnic bench in it. That is a gazebo. Hopefully you guys are learning something. Come on, man. I know you are. There is a brisk spring wind in the air. It is beautiful. Let's keep going. Do you see this beautiful tree behind me? What is that? I just picked... A piece of fruit off the tree this is called picking when you take it off there and you know my wife longs for doing that what do I mean by to long for something to long for something means to have desire to want it you know I usually long for going on trips tell me what you guys long for my wife longs for picking fruit off the tree Well, guys, it's a wrap. When you say it's a wrap, it means it's finished. You can be at work and say, hey, it's a wrap. Well, today's lesson is a wrap. People, see you soon.